Mr. N. Srinivasan, the older brother of Mr. N. Chandrasekharan, who's joining us on the phone line uh, all the way from... Uh, and remember, he's a very accomplished man himself. Uh, he is the CFO at Murugappa Group and he's joining us on the phone line. This is... He's, he's the Director of Finance at Murugappa Group. Thanks very much, Mr. Srinivasan, for being with us. Congratulations to you and the rest of your family on that very, very eminent rise of your younger brother, N. Chandrasekharan. It indeed must be a proud moment for the family, sir. Definitely, and it is uh, also, as you know, Indi Subramaniam is also my another brother, so it's a great day for the family. Yes. You know, oh, absolutely. I was, in fact, going to ask that question. What is it, what is it between you brothers and finance that all of you actually are landing those top jobs. So you, of course, have been a very seasoned man of finance at the Murugappa Group. N.G. Subramaniam, who's now the chief operating officer uh, of, uh, of, of TCS, is also one of your brothers. And of course, N. Chandra gets the top honors at uh, Bombay House. What did they feed you to be so well with high street finance there? Well, it's all, you know, I think, you know, we all had a very really humble beginning and uh, maybe... Uh, uh, hard work and then commitment and God's blessings and well wishes of people like you. Indeed, uh, I, I, I do want to ask you though, Mr. Ms. Yes, Mr. Srinivasan, uh, what was Mr. Chandrasekhar like? Did you really think that he was going to grow up and not just be the boss of TCS, but grow up and head one of India's most coveted, one of India's most haloed business empires, the Bombay House, uh, the, the Tata Sons really? Uh, that was uh, uh, moving to Tata Sons was a surprise actually because you know several things unfolded in the last uh, couple of months. Uh, but you know he has been enjoying the trust. He has always enjoyed the trust of the Tata boss bosses, and uh, and the way he uh, performed as a CEO, I think probably we thought you know he will still go places. Indeed. Uh, you know, sir, Mr. Mr. Uh, N. Chandrasekharan, and I, I had the honor of hosting the ET Awards this year, and the Nat I, I figured out there that N stands for Natarajan Chandrasekharan, and I'm presuming the N in all your names stands for that, which must be your father's name. He must be a very proud man indeed. But I do want to ask you, uh, you know, N. Chandrasekharan has been a man of tech, software, IT. He's made a grand success of TCS, and it was there for everybody to watch and see today. But what I want to ask you is that, how difficult or easy will it be for him to make that switch from pure IT, pure software uh, to the many other businesses the Tata Group is invested in? Uh, of course, it is not going to be easy. But, you know, at, at beyond certain stage, it is all about leadership. You know, you must uh, know what are the areas of importance, where to look for and whom to rely on. Beyond a point, even in TCS, actually, once the company becomes so large, uh, you don't get into nitty-gritty things. You only look at uh, at 50,000 feet. You know, uh, overall, you know, how do you drive the company? What is the strategy? Who are all the people that you must look for? Like that, you know, Tata is a very diversified group. Uh, I can quote my own personal example. In the Murugappa group, there are about 28 businesses. Uh, it took me some time to realize. Uh, I mean, I mean, how, do, how, what are all the things that I should look for to understand these businesses? But because of the experience. That uh, over a period of time, very quickly you'll be able to grasp them and um, understand and things to uh, uh, what to look for and you can prioritize things very easily. So to that extent, I think you know, well, it will take some time, but it may not be difficult or impossible for him. But you know, sir, his elevation at Bombay House also marks a change in mindset as far as the Tata Group is concerned. So far, the heads of the Tata Empire have either been people with, uh, with knowledge of manufacturing, with people who've invested uh, or have been invested in old age industries. Here is N. Chandrasekharan, who is a new, uh, you, you know, a new age person, a new industry person. He's representing IT. He understands digital. He's an avid user of technology. Does this, in some sense, also mark the change of guard in more ways than one at Bombay House. And, and what is it that Chandra will do to, to, to make sure that he leaves his imprint on what is perhaps going to be a long innings for him? He's just 53 years old there. No, absolutely. I think, you know, uh, I mean, the group, as I see it, has a myriad of issues. I think you will have to first understand the uh, group businesses and then prioritize them and then 
uh, how to, uh, uh, just as uh, when he took over TCS, probably TCS was not number one, or a period of time. By the time he completed his first tenure of five years, I think he could uh, make TCS very strong and agile and then uh, make, maybe uh, as number one company in terms of market cap in India. Likewise, you know, he need to prioritize, he must understand, uh, you know, in Tata's actually, you know, each one of the individual companies are such a giant in size. I think, you know, he has a huge opportunity at the same time, huge challenges. Uh, over a period of uh, uh, time, I think, you know, he, he should probably, I'm sure he will uh, strive hard to, to make them again, uh, again, better the stocks. Indeed. Uh, I also want to ask you and get a little bit of insight into the man who is going to be leading one of India's most uh, revered, most respected business houses now. What was N. Chandrasekharan like and, and is he as cool a customer as he usually comes out to be? He's usually in charge, he's usually calm, he's usually very, very cool. Uh, so I think there are two sides of two sides to him. One is, you know, he's, uh, he's a little bit restless and always would like to do things and always very active. Uh, therefore, you know, he will always be at speed. Uh, I don't know whether you would call it cool, but at the same time, he won't get tensed. You know, uh, there are challenge, multiple challenges. Uh, ex maybe over a period of experience, he has learned, actually. Uh, he can handle them in a very calm manner. But he is a man of action always. You know, whenever you send him a mail, what point after within two minutes, you can expect a reply. <laughs> so he's, he's a man in a rush. He's a man who likes speed. He's a man who's restless. And I think that is what it takes to uh, revive and rebuild and bring some agility to Bombay House, and which is why he's there. But I must ask you the other question. And, you know, what was what followed his uh, or what preceded his appointment as the uh, Tata Sons chairman was also a very ugly spat. I don't want to get into the details of that. But what came to fore was uh, concerns that will the new top boss be able to be his own man? Will he be able to assert his own authority? given there are these always this lurking influences in the background. Do you believe N. Chandra is that man who, if he wants to, can assert authority, can have his way around? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because he knows the Tata system well. And then it is something, which I would say, if you ask me, this is something which is, uh, which is conferred on him or trusted on him. He never probably wouldn't have aspired to become a uh, chairman of Tata Sons. Uh, he would have probably been happier to have one more uh, innings and TCS and make the company still uh, bigger and uh, greater. But uh, this is uh, maybe, I would say, a call of duty. I think the group had uh, probably would have asked him. The board of uh, Tata, I, I mean, I'm, I, just as you, I'm not privy, but from what I uh, see, actually, you know, this is something which has been conferred on him. And it shows the, the kind of confidence the Tata group has on him. And uh, also, since he has the best wishes of all the Tata group, uh, and he has been familiar with almost all the top bosses in uh, Tata Group, either as the CEOs of these various companies or the board members of Tata's and the Tata family. I, I think, you know, he will have a smooth sailing. Mr. Srinivasan, you are a man of finance yourself. Uh, and, you know, Mr. Chandrasekharan has, of course, made a remarkable success out of TCS by sometimes taking tough decisions, decisions that sometimes require the conviction and courage of a leader. If I were to just take a cue from what he has done in TCS, his, his stint at Bombay House will also require him to take some courageous, not-so-popular decisions because there are many businesses that the Tatas perhaps don't need to be present in. There is enough and more debt the Tatas can get rid of. Will we see N. Chandra take those tough calls, which may even be unpopular at times? Of course, he will. I don't see any uh, difficulty in him taking this decision because... There will, there will be a humongous amount of support for him, both at the board level and at the, and the TCS and the Tata Sons uh, office level. There should not be any difficulty. Mr. Srinivasan, I turn focus to the other brother and like you said, uh, in this proud moment, it's also important to remember that NG Subramaniam has been appointed the Chief Operating Officer uh, of TCS, India's most valuable company. Uh, what is he like? Is he as re relentlessly aggressive and as sometimes restless but not so tense like N. Chandra? Is, is that a cool component that all you brothers share? No, he's, uh, he's a great guy. He's certainly... Uh, he's certainly a cool guy. He will never get uh, tense for anything. Uh, if you if you recall, you know Chandra himself told him that you know he enjoys client confidence. Uh, 
uh, he is uh, very methodical and then you know uh, he is very composed and he can tackle any complicated problems without uh, um, uh, losing his cool and um, i know you uh, you may you may know that you know only it is ngs who brought uh, who introduced uh, 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 chandra to tcs uh, uh, at the entry level uh, he is out and out uh, a tcs man and uh, is well respected in the banking circles i had the privilege of interacting with both of them very closely on various professional matters and i used to enjoy those conversations very well it's interesting you say that it was ngs who brought uh, n chandra to the tata fold of things he actually brought the group's new chairman uh, so to say and not just the boss of tcs but uh, before i let you go uh, one final word how does the family get together and celebrate this in different parts of the world and in different parts of the country is there champagne that's popped at all or is there a more tam bram way of celebrating things at home so i think i just called my father and uh, spoke to him my parents are in right now in erode with my sister i just called them and shared this news of course they are also watching the tv we look forward at appropriate time to uh, celebrate and also thank all well wishers and god almighty for this the great opportunity Indeed, and on that note, we wish the entire family, and especially you, many congratulations on the ascent of two brothers. Uh, I'm sure it must be a proud moment for your parents and the entire family. But that's N. Chandra Shekharan for you, the top boss at Bombay House. Uh, his brother, exclusively right here on ET Now, the channel that matters, and I'm presuming the channel that his parents must be watching today as they celebrate the big rise of their son at Bombay House and the rise of the other son, N. G. Subramaniam, at T C S. We take a quick breather, come back with plenty more on the big, big breaking news. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com/etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnow live. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com/user/etnow.